Welcome to the John Show with your host, John Doogie Clouser. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What's going on, everyone? How are you? We are here on a new episode of the Juan Solo Show with your host, me, Juan D. Clouser. And uh, this is episode 172 of this great, wonderful thing. Uh, so welcome. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, awesome. Thank you. Uh, welcome as well. Uh, so I got a new pair of shoes. So every year I get a new pair of, and it's normally around the beginning of summertime. What I normally gauge it on is when it's close to the end of the NBA finals. I know it's weird, but that's just what I do. That's just, that's just my style. My style of uh, of uh, of of buying stuff. So, I had these really nice Nike running shoes, and now they're my mowing shoes, which is always a sad day for me. Because especially growing up, I was born in Honduras, and I didn't have a pair of shoes till I was five, five almost six. Excuse me. And so for me, for me, for me, this is about me, only about me. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's sad for me to have a pair of shoes and I, I like to burn them out as much as I can. Uh, and then the, so I was wearing those and those were great. And like the whole soul was falling apart. So it's to the point, just use them as mowing shoes, burn them completely out. And then at the end of the summer, you'll just throw them away and you'll be done. You'll be over. It'll be, it'll just be, just, you'll somehow be causing some pollution in the ocean somewhere. And uh, yeah, some turtle will fucking eat it and die because of you, John, because of you, because you had to mow your yard with those fucking shoes. And mango bubblies are the best bubblies. God damn. They're not that good, but they're better than all the rest. So I bought a pair, new pair of shoes and this time around every year, I'm like, okay, what can I do? I'm like, last year I wanted running a pair of nice, nice, nice Nike running shoes because, you know, as being someone from the third world and has a bunch of family in the third world who works in sweatshops, might as well buy a pair of shoes from a company who makes shoes in sweatshops. So that's what I'm doing. Trust me, this is the level of guilt I have. What level of guilt do you have? Do you have any guilt when you buy fucking shoes, Nike shoes and shit, but they're comfortable as fuck? It is unbelievable how comfortable they are. It's unbelievable what we've done. The science that, is a, that has occurred to make shoes so goddamn comfortable. But this is, what it was ha this is what it was this year. So this year I was like, okay, you know what? You should get like a pair of like signature shoe. A signature shoe, because for some reason I was thinking this was a great idea. I thought this was a, a fantastic idea, and because you know I I like you know I like colors. I love colors, even though I'm wearing gray and black right now. Most of the time, I'm wearing something vibrant, colorful, because I'm on camera and I can't just wear black works. White doesn't on my skin because it just absorbs, and then I just get blown out. It is a hard life being me. And so I was like, okay, what, what, what kind of shoes should I get this year? What kind of shoes? 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 I've been pondering over it. I'm like, go, we're going to go to shoe carnival. They tend to have, you know what? Because it's like, you're an adult now, John. You can spend 80, 90 bucks if you want to on a pair of shoes because they're going to be your everyday shoe. And guess what? You're just going to, you're going to wear those and you're going to, you're going to, and then you'll just wear them every day and then by the end of like three months you've gotten your money's worth because you wear them every day uh but that's the mindset i have to be in because like these shoes were only they're like 50 bucks it was not much it was but it was nothing it was nothing they were a clearance thing so i got the uh cum or the unto compatumpo the the guy from the bucks i i know he's greek i'm greek it's okay it's okay i'm he's more he's probably more greek than i am Technically, because I'm only like, what, one third, one third Greek. So, that motherfucker's at least half. He's at least half. And he can speak better Greek than I can. Um, so, but 
I, so I got his signature shoe, and I'm wearing it right now, right here. See, look at that thing. Uh, but the only thing I realized, pretty comfortable. You got to break them in. They're stiff as shit. That's one. I don't understand how anyone can wear these as actual basketball shoes because they're pretty fucking heavy. Now, I can get that, like, your foot's going to be pretty protected in it. I get that. But the I feel like I'm wearing, it might be because I'm, I don't have them tied, and that's probably the reason, but I feel like I'm wearing a goddamn space boot in the shoe. It's just insane. I'm just like, oh, don't, 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 going down the, going down the hallway. It's like, yeah, you can't miss me. It's like, geez, John, you can't sneak up on anything. Uh, but it's just, they're nice. It's great. It, I, I feel awesome being able to buy so it's so funny to me because for me for me again this is about me but this is also my podcast so why am i why am i being like that so for me to be able to buy a pair of shoes is an absurd thing because I, if i was living in honduras you just don't go to the store i thought it was funny because like it was it was sunday and i was going around and i was i had to get dog food I was getting a new, I had to get a new belt, dress, I had to get a new uh, suit belt, a uh, brown one, uh, for my lighter colors, my like or my navy blue, and my tan, and my silver suit, so like, I guess not my silver suit, my silver suit, I'll wear a black tie, I have a black belt, but anyway, and I was doing, I was buying that, I was getting that new tie, I was getting another button-up shirt. And it was just so funny to me going to these different places and, you know, walking, parking. I, I, I mean, like, I guess parking my car, driving, parking my car, then like turning off my car, getting out of my car, walking in the process from my car to walking to the store. I'm, I'm like thinking, I'm like, John, think about how lucky you are being able to do this because some places you just, if you were living back at home, man, like life would be so different, man. You'd be working in a fucking coal mine, screaming in Spanish, getting fucking written up in span, like, <laughs> and having being told that, hey, John, you need to be more of a team player. You need to be more of a team player, but it'd be being told that in Spanish. So uh, I'm just like, God, you're so lucky, you dumb asshole. You're such an asshole, and <laughs> that's how I feel when I'm like buying, you know, nice things, you know, suits and button ups and ties and dress belts and you know buy new dress shoes i had to buy a new pair of brown dress shoes as well as with these uh, with these nike shoes it, it's just like to me these things are absurd to be buying now have i earned have i worked hard to get them yes yes but there's still like it's just, it's like there's this guilt that comes with living like this and i'm just like God, I understand what I understand why I don't like to buy a lot of shit because or if I buy stuff, it's like camera stuff or it's a camera. So I don't really feel materialistic because it's like no one really gives a fuck that this camera shoots in 4K versus shoots in like, you know, 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second. No one gives a shit about that. But it's, it's hilarious to me, though. I, I feel like this. But I guess it's, it's a good feeling. It's a good thing that I feel like this because it shows a sense of grounding and a sense of like level headedness. I don't, but I feel like that's even an arrogant thing to think. That's so fucking arrogant. Like, who am I to be thinking like that? Ugh. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, well, next time, next, like, and like a week and a half when I get paid again, like, I'm just going to buy these like Oakley sh glasses that cost a hundred bucks. It's like, uh, it's like, yeah, but I'm, I'm buying them so then I can wear them when I mow and I can when I weed eat because I feel like they're going to have a better, closer protection to my eye versus the sunglasses I have now, which were a pair of $25 glasses I bought in fucking Orlando, Florida on a film set for uh, right before I was going to a film set. So, like, uh, eh, eh, who am I again? This is, uh, I guess that, that could be the, that's the title, who am I, right? I have like this new setup on my phone. Uh, I have like this like cork board on my phone now. It's like a, it's like, it's a cork board within an app that I have like a writing app thing that I have. And it's, 
it gives me like blocks and so I, I can have like news, sports, random stuff and then next to it I can have like a bunch of random other blocks and like have little subject things and it's so funny but it's this is the first week using it and I'm like should I change to this style of because what was wrong with me just having a header then like underneath that would be like well it would be like you know the the show's name the episode underneath that would be the episode title then it'd be like just like a dash and then a subject thing dash subject thing dash subject thing i don't know i just think it looks a little bit more professional it looks a little bit more spaced out so then i can have a when i have a quick glance i feel like i can i could possibly be able to run through a list better versus just sitting there i don't know you're never gonna see it like you don't give a shit no one gives a fuck but um but yeah so i was like i'm like trying to figure out how i want to do this who am i there that's the episode title uh but yeah so this is where i am in my life it's pretty cool uh my ears getting better uh every day it's a little bit better a little bit better i'm still like okay this is gonna be my life though i'm never gonna get my ear back <laughs> as i feel it's so weird because like low low frequency low frequency sounds i don't hear that well and out of that ear now right now other things like louder fine normal it's like just normal like it was before but i can definitely feel that my left ear is doing more the work than my right right now but i also feel like i probably sh i'm pretty sure that i had to have uh what's the what's the uh, ruptured my eardrum so i'm like my eardrum has to fucking heal dude So, this is where we're at in life. Uh, yeah, we're. I'm feeling guilty about stuff, but damn, I'm gonna look really good in my suits. Uh, inherited, you know, like I told, like my my father passed. Sadly, rest in peace, Dad. Wherever you are, I inherited all your all your ties. I don't know if you're listening. Good God, my dad had no joke. Fifty ties, fifty ties, all colors, all colors. He had coral, navy blue, light blue, royal blue. He had multiple blues on one tie. He has a, which is now my favorite tie. It is a old school navy blue. And it's like this thicker material and it kind of has like these little rivets. It looks like a, it looks kind of like the little rivets that you have on like a Ruffles potato chip. It's like one of those, it has like little waves and it's like that, but it's like really thin and small and it has these little like, you know, the throwback chiefs helmets, uh, with the arrowhead, you know, the, the, cause you know, the chief's emblem is just like a helmet with the arrowhead on it with the Casey. This is why you don't drink bubbly shit on a fucking podcast. You dipshit, John. And uh yeah it has these little the little helmets with like the the one bar which was interesting because i googled it the other day like why did they outlaw the single bar on the face mask and that was because it, it became dangerous flat out just easy i i, I should have known that i really should have known that but yeah it was because the uh chances of death are greater or just destroying your face is greater but yes, like I just inherited a shit ton of ties, which was awesome, which is a little sad. It makes me because I, I think it's though I'm still in that grieving stage. Grant, dude, dude, John, you just the funeral was just last Monday. It was like literally a week ago today, you dick. Uh, but or whatever it was, it wasn't even like a funeral. It was a it was just like a visual thing because I thought my dad is so crazy. My dad was very stoic, so he just wanted like he didn't even really want anything in the in the uh, in the um, will. He just he was just like you know, cremate me, put me in my the silo or wherever the fuck you're gonna put me and be done with it. Don't have a big thing. I don't want a bunch of people there. I don't. It's just, we're good. We're good. We get it. Uh, which is awesome. I get them. I, I I get I totally get it, dude. Just get in and out and be done and over with. 
And, um, but yeah, inherited a bunch of those ties. So it's like kind of, kind of cool, kind of weird though. Awesome though. Uh, also, uh, inherited <laughs> his suit hanger rack thing. You know, like it has like a thing where you can hang your pants, your jacket, and you can hang your button up so you can have everything set up for the day before. Oh, it's great. I love it. <clears throat> it makes me so happy. It makes me so happy because it's like, oh, this is this is where I got it from. I got all that organization for my dad because my dad was super organized. Like his tools, everything was like just spick and span in a certain spot and it was just a good time. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's where I got it from and it why it pisses me the fuck off and why he would get super pissed when like people would touch his tools and then he couldn't find his tools. He's like, you dumb sons of bitches, stop touching my shit. So, yeah, it took me being 34 years old to finally understand that, that I got that from my dad. So, this is where we're at. Again, you know, plowing through it all. You know, I bet you guys really wanted to hear that sad shit. <laughs> uh, we have like less than 100 days. We have, I think, about 80, maybe 91 or 90 days left till football season and i can't fucking wait this year man i'm so excited I'm going to the steelers home opener oh it's gonna be so awesome it's still it's heinz field it'll always be heinz field to me i don't i think it's aperture field now or something like that aperture at heinz or something but oh god i'm so excited uh and the thing is like i love Going to football games, yeah. But they're more fun watching at home. They're kind of... But, like, I don't... It was so fun. I went... I was, like, hanging out with a bunch of my buddies this... A couple of days ago. It was uh, last Wednesday. And uh, we all met up. And I ordered a beer. And I took one drink of it. I'm like, hmm, interesting. I'm like, I really don't want to drink this. And so I just kind of sat there. And I hold, I kind of held it. Put it down. Acted like I was about to drink, and then I was like talking, and I put it back down, kind of that kind of thing. And then by the night, I just never drank it. Uh, it felt great because I am like, oh, this is awesome. That means I don't really fucking care about alcohol. Now, if it was a joint, I would have been all up on that. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, that's what I really want. Is I want, I just want weed. I just want to get high. Uh, but yeah, because if you don't like really drink, then it, it might be actually more fun to go to the game because I. I'm not going to be drunk because but I was also thinking like breaking my streak and getting not, I don't even know. I don't The thought of getting drunk even now is just like, I'm like, I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Losing that control doesn't sound like a lot of fun to me. It sounds like it wouldn't be a good time. Listen, to, I've been bitching a lot on this podcast, this episode. Jesus Christ, John, just fucking plow. Th- but I'm really just on th- honestly just trying to plow through this. It's like a, it's a, it's a quarter till eleven, and and I and I'm st- it's quarter till eleven at night time, and I haven't. I, I need to still do this podcast and then edit it and then put it online so so everyone can re- re- can listen to it tomorrow on Tuesday. So. God, I had a monster. The uh, first time I've had a monster in maybe, oh, what, five years? And I'm like, hmm, gross. <laughs> I shouldn't have drunk it. I should have drunk it. I shouldn't have drank it. It wasn't It wasn't the best in the world. It wasn't that good. Um, oh. So sorry. I, I'm like, sometimes I write these things and I'm just like, hmm, hmm, interesting, John. That's an interesting take on a thought or a, this interesting thought. And so I just, I, I, I just read one and then I just kind of, I very, I uh, questioned every ounce of me <laughs> after I'm, I'm just like, really, dude, really? But uh, it was, uh, have you ever gotten so high that you were, you were like, you know, that song? Do you know what it is? It's like that. What the fuck? Like that's not even funny. It's it's just like, ah. Uh, 
But it's just like we just dumb. What does this say? We live in a soft America. Everyone that wants. Oh. You, I can also tell too when I'm in a pissy fucking mood and I write something because I this was I was in a clearly pissy mood when I wrote this. Uh, we live in a soft America, but I wrote America with a a little hyphen on the e, because uh, <laughs> you know I'm bougie. Uh, everyone wants uh, everyone wants everyone to like each other. That's just not the real world. Which I I, I can get both sides. I understand, but it really isn't the real world. You're not going to like, not everyone's going to like everyone. Not everyone's going to like you. Uh, most likely, most people are going to not like you. Uh, most people, most of the time, no one's going to like you just for no reason. They're just not going to like your face. And this is the thing. It's also like, it's also kind of like the whole inspirational shit. Like, I God, I can't fucking, I just don't understand it. I just don't get it. I just don't get why you're yelling. It's so funny because I really wish that men would take a chapter or yeah, fuck. I wish, I wish men would take a whole fucking novel out of women's book when it comes to that whole inspirational shit. Cause it is dog shit. Cause it's most of the time you're just sitting in a car. I don't understand. Do you understand that those people, they don't even believe in their bullshit so much that they have to sit in a car to make sure that no one can hear what they say. No one can hear this. They can't spew. Oh, I can't stand it. But the one thing with with women that they're like, cry. You're good. It's okay to just accept who you are to be, be to just to be better. Like you're gonna do it. You're gonna be a better person. And you can just sit there and you can cry. Like I, ah, you're right. I'm a better. I'm gonna be a better person. Uh, and then like then you flip the page over and you see like the men's version of an inspirational thing. And it's just like, I get up at fucking two in the morning. What are you doing, you dumb fucking bitch? You fucking bitch. You're a fucking bitch. Like, you're going to just eat that extra... You're going to eat that hamburger? Huh? 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 That donut? Huh? Huh? You're going to drink that beer? Huh? 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 You're not going to do any squats? You're not going to do any push-ups? You're not going to do any pull-ups? What are you, fucking pussy? 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 And it's just like, you're like, oh, God. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Maybe I am a fucking pussy. And you sit there like, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why Tina didn't want to fucking go on a date with me. Because I'm maybe she thinks I'm a fucking pussy. Maybe she thinks I'm not an alpha male. And then we just build this whole thing. And then, like, there's never one thing that's, like, saying... That hey, it's okay to cry. Hey men, guess what? It's okay to cry. But guess what? This is this is one inspirational thing that I think a lot of you need to hear. Most of you ain't shit. Sorry. Guess what? I ain't shit either. It's just how it is. Most of us ain't shit. Most of us ain't gonna do anything. You know why? Because we're listening to other people do shit instead of doing shit while when we should be doing shit. And see, like this is the thing too. Then they start cussing. You get the ones that are like cussing. Like, yeah, they don't do. You know, you fucking. You fucking fucking fuck shit. You you you. If you don't do fucking shit, you what are you gonna do, be a fucking pussy? You fucking dumbass. Like it's like nothing was said, and we're just here. We're just here, and it's like woof. Holy hell! Why am I getting yelled at for this? I I don't. Ugh. And that's also the other thing too. Like you, there's always a moment. No matter what, no matter what inspirational person or in, like kind of like was influencer, influencer, like, and that's the thing is like, what's the fuck? Why would you call yourself an influencer? Never, never take advice from someone who, who calls himself an influencer. Someone who influences someone doesn't need to have to say it. They just, they, they just influence. It's just, it's just gross. It's the dumbest fucking thing in the world. It's so dumb be better just just be better like you john be better on the like you are like you should be on this podcast right that's fair that's fair that's, that's fair it's totally fair uh but oh just 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 the thing is most of y'all ain't gonna be anything because you don't want to do anything you just want to bitch and moan you're always trying to figure out or try to find like a loophole in something guess what there's no loopholes because if there's loopholes, I wouldn't be in the situation right now. I'd be a fucking billionaire. I'd be like as rich as Joe Rogan right now. If there was a loophole, but there ain't same thing with life. Same thing with everything you want. This is a real inspirational shit. And I fucking, my voice is starting to go. <laughs> it's 
as I drink bubbly seltzer water. Seltzer water, maybe? Okay. Uh, then I have this. I will never understand Frito Pie, which is true. I will never, ever understand why anyone would want to eat Frito Pie. I I just don't. You're just you're better than that. We're human. We live in the first world. That's a real third world kind of food. And I might get it. I get it, John. Uh, like, you should be like John. Uh, like uh, like you know, there's some people who just you know they grew up poor and that's what they want. Like I get it, but then now you're not poor. So stop eating the Frito pie. Stop. Frito pie is gross. That and then like the. Taco bags, people who like crunch up a bag of Doritos, like one of those small personal ones, and they put lettuce and cheese and fucking meat and all that stuff, and they shake it up. Like, that's gross, too. Stop doing those two things. Frito pie and the fucking bag of taco or whatever the fuck it is. Taco bag. It's dumb. It's stupid. You're better than that. We're all better than this. We're better than this. This is the reason why we're pulling out all the people in Taiwan. I don't know if that's real. I read it on a meme. I saw it on a meme, and I saw a little bit underneath. Apparently, the United States is trying to get all the all their American citizens out of Taiwan because I think I'm pretty sure China is about to fuck some shit up, and I'm I can't blame them at this point because if I was them, hell, I would probably be doing it too. And it's so funny. I bring this shit up and people are just like, well, whatever, whatever. I'm like, what do you mean? Whatever. It's like, oh, it's fuck. I was like, what the fuck? Do you guys hear that? It scared the living shit out of me. (laughs) I forgot to turn the volume off on my phone. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Because I thought it was a doorbell at first. I was like, am I so loud that the cops had to, you know, come and be like, dude, you need to calm down. Like my heartbeat's really high right now. (laughs) <laughs> and uh but yeah it's like jesus christ taco bag stop frito bag frito stop basketball players having shoes that are like space boots stop <laughs> but this is where we're at guys I, I i don't know i don't know what else to say on this podcast you know we could be that kid who jumped off that boat and got eaten by a shark, which is so fucking stupid. But that's life. Sometimes in life, you will make choices that you're trying to impress people because you're, when you're young, and there's friends like that. You'll everyone has somebody who, you know, was that daredevil, and then they aren't a daredevil anymore because they're dead. Uh, there's always that when you're young. There's always that kind of person. He's like, oh, I don't give a fuck. I'll do it. And then they do something, and then the, then that's the last of it. So uh, that's how I'm going to end this podcast, guys. Uh, we have about 30 seconds left. Uh, thank you for listening. If you got this far, like, comment, and subscribe. Space Boot Basketball Shoes. Maybe that should be the title instead. I don't know. All right. I have a new movie that's I have a new movie that is coming out. All right, bye.